you go guys, it's uh, a Saturday. I think we'll be down to around uh, West Belfast, maybe heading to town as well. So this morning the sun was out and basically what I was going to do was had all good intentions. Go out and take some photographs. And uh, then the rain came down and then I said to myself that keep an eye in case anybody knocks me down. So I've got the uh, Nikon D3300 with me. I've got the 35 1.8 lens on 35 and a crop sensor 1.5. So it's around about the 50 millimeter if you were using full frame. So basically, uh, possible photograph there, you see. So, but I missed it. But that's not the point. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to take it down there about, take some photographs. You can't get everything perfect. And if you were sitting waiting on perfection, you'd be waiting a long time. Because let me tell you, no such thing. I'm going to go on the beach, mate. So you can see, if you're not familiar with the video I'd done a couple of months back there, I took a photograph of a guy, young young lad, well he's not a young lad no more, a guy called Sean Paul Moorland. I took a photograph of 1986 and I recreated the photograph up there, 30 years later. I hope you look and see. So basically, so what's the point of this video? The point of this is just get out. Get out and take photographs. Stop waiting till all the boxes be ticked. Don't know what's up here anyway. So basically you're just gonna take some photographs. So don't be waiting till all the boxes are ticked because you're never gonna get the boxes ticked. So what you wanna do is just get out, be an optimist. Believe that the photograph could be around the next corner. So get yourself out of the house. Doesn't matter whether it's raining or snowing or the sunshine. It's important to get out and about. I took a photograph over here, around about 1986, maybe, no, probably been 1987. A couple of school kids just sitting here against the wall. I think it was three girls were sitting there, then I took another photograph on another occasion. Four mates were standing there. And around about 1990s, I took a photograph of a guy who used to live in there. Bye. Had him sitting up against the um, his railings. And another photograph. This is going to be interesting. And another photograph. And he was standing here, and in reality they were just building those houses there, so... So he lived in there, took a photograph here, and he had that in the background. So that's it all fantastic. So, going ahead. Oh, we look and see. Lads, how, how are you? Are you from down here? Yeah, I'm alive. What do you call the wee man? James. James. Smoke the pipe. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I photographed him in the 90s. Ah, that's right. That's where you're standing. James fact, used to smoke a pipe. There. I'm recording it by my phone. I don't know, I know you Facebook. On a, a folly on Facebook, we all started that corner and on the waste ground. That's it. Where some of the, the youth that used to take photos of them in the army and place and all. I commented on the fellow last night, he showed me a photograph, he says he took them around there, I think they were throwing stones or something. He, he was at that oh, no, he no, don't have no back with me. He's blonde hair and all that, and he's out there hitting me. Memories, he makes us all feel old anyway. But I've right, just seen him because I say, I took his lovely man, I think he worked. Uh, I took a photograph, but I got another photograph from standing here, and he's standing like this here, that was just getting built. So, yeah. I might put them on the yes. There you go guys, here we are in West Belfast, in Beachmount, as I say. And this is the, the thing about West Belfast. They've even got Canada flags up on the, the wall. Of course you got the tricolour there. Multicultural. We ain't shown around here. Well, guys, that's a fantastic thing about 
getting out and being a photographer. Um, you get to meet so many interesting people. And it was just great just to reminisce there about the past. Because uh, it's all changed. You know? A lot of people might take things for granted, but look at these beautiful homes. Um, remember in the heart of Beachmount, where was Beachmount Grove? This has all completely changed from whenever I was here years ago. And these used to be like white pebble dice houses. Beach my people are beach my people. They're fantastic people, irrespective of what sort of house they're living in. But I have to say, these houses are absolutely fantastic. So, so get out and about and take some photographs. This has been magical. Um, talking a trip down memory lane. And we'll see what other photographs we're going to hang. There you go. Fucking head cases everywhere. There's always head cases everywhere. So. Now, obviously, it's hard for me to uh, just got my brain. So basically, I'm not too sure if you've seen the video that I've done. I'm not too sure if you've seen the video I've done in 19, uh, with the photographs I took. Probably in the late 90s. I had all the kids down here. Just read it. They chased the soldiers the whole way right round, came right round, and back out here. This is all changed. And I'm going to show you. And if you're not familiar with that video, check it out up above. It's a nice series of videos called The Story Behind the Photographs. It started off over there, at that mural. Met some British soldiers there, asked could I take their photographs. And they went the whole way down here. Kids are over on this side. I'll take you over and let you see. So the series of photographs start off here. I met some British soldiers here. Took her photographs in the mural. All the kids were over there. These were a completely different style of housing. The old Beachmount style housing. And a uh, soldier stood here. The kids were all over in the far corner there, round about by the middle where those um, houses are, slightly further back off the road. There was a lamp post here. The soldier was standing looking down. I took a couple of photographs over his shoulder. And then they all started running down the walls. And of course the kids were throwing the stones over towards them, hitting them there. They looked around. Right round the estate and they came back and I got some photographs here at the thing, so... I think it's just fantastic um, to go back over the old ground, the old stomping ground, so to speak. And uh, seeing how much has changed. This is why, guys, for me it's very, very important. Uh, for not just me... What's that there? Nice wee pigeons. Okay, they may not be hummingbirds, but still lovely to see. Yeah, so basically, I think it's very, very important when you get out there and take photographs in your own area. And don't be, as I say, I keep saying it, I know it's like a mantra. Now, we're capturing the present so those in the future can look back at the past. And that's what it's all about for me, is like up the distance there, you can see there's a kid playing football on the street. We used to do that all the time. Now, this is a busy street, guys. You know? So, used to just make do. I've got other photographs of kids playing, but that's an example. This is history. Look. Look. See that? This is what it's all about. This is common. This is what we used to do. Say common as in common practice. Not common as in common. Oh! Hey hey! Let me say again. There you go. So basically, that's his nets there. That's his nets there. Isn't that fantastic? There you go guys, this is typical, this is what we were always like when we were kids, hasn't changed, 2017, 
Um, nothing's changed at all. And the reason why kids are playing the street, is there's no playing fields. Um, and this is it, a bit of crack. And I got some photographs here. So guys, that's a fantastic thing. I know I keep going on about it, but I can't tell you how fantastic um, out and about taking photographs I feel. It's um, just good to get interacting. You see, this is, you see, this here's all about documenting your area. You know, a lot of people would be sitting panicking about interacting with people. There's a couple of kids up the top also playing in the street. This is what we did when we were kids, and it's great to see the kids still doing it. Aye. But this is, you know, if people say about confidence, they can't get confidence when they're taking photographs. I'm saying tell you is to go to your own area where people know you, and you can actually, there's going to be a couple of nice photographs here. Me. So what you do is you go to your own area, your own local area, people will know you, get your confidence, start taking photographs of the local people, uh, drop off some photographs, and then you'll start to build up your confidence there. Now what have we got here? Koi Big, Euro 2016. You see? So your photographs are going to be on a YouTube channel called Rambles with my camera, if you're on there. Yeah. Okay, and I'll just take... Do you want to get a quick photograph? You three you together? Stand here, we check in. YouTube brother, are you all brothers or friends? Yeah, yeah I'm brothers and he's my friend. Nice one. We've got closer there, guys. That's wonderful. We've got closer. <laughs> That's wonderful. Here we go. Hey, brother. You funny? Mm. Hi, don't have Sean. <laughs> I'm a street photographer on YouTube. Uh, yeah, so we're putting it? Yeah, please, yeah, man. Thank you. Hey, I'm with it. I'm with it. Could you all come this way for me? All of you, you see too? Just here? Keep coming, guys, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. I want to get the street, you see, yeah. Okay, guys, come a bit closer. No comment? Uh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No, we can take that. Okay this way? Okay guys, so basically what my thinking was when I took the, that's, by the way, that's the, the kids, two of the kids' father there. Um, they actually have immigrated from uh, Chile. So what I actually done there was, although the standalone photograph at the start was dead on, uh, there's no hassle, I wanted to bring them out because I wanted to get the street sign in, so exactly, that's actually locating where the photograph's taken. The first photograph was dead on, but in reality it had no real connection to where it is, so I brought them out into the middle of the street so I could fill the back uh, top right hand corner with the actual street, and uh, that way they'll have a record of it and also once again the future generations could be looking at that photograph and they'll be able to specifically see what street what area what country it's actually in okay brilliant 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 thank you brother thank you very much thank you thank you so guys here's an example um obviously i'm on the falls road here you've got two flags or you've got the starry play on the right there and you've got the tricolor on the, the left. Now if I was to take a photograph from here, 
Okay. You know, technically I've recorded what it is, this flag, two flags together. But what I would say, if you look around, you've got Clannard Monastery here. That in itself, that in itself is going to show exactly where it is. So if you're looking at the photograph and you're not familiar where it is, you've got the Clannard Monastery on over there. So you link the Clannard Monastery in with the two flags. And that way, if you're sitting viewing it 10 years or 20 years time, basically what you've, you've already dated it. So what you would do is when you incorporate the Clannard Monastery but in. Basically, that photograph in itself is now going to be dating it. Exactly where it is, another dating it. Take a walk down here. Hello. I don't know if that's come out or not. Watch it get it jumped over. There you go. We're on Leeson Street. When I grew up here, completely different. All the old style houses, the wee terraced houses. A lot of memories. Hey, uh, hey you doing? I'm a street photographer. Can I get a photograph of this here? All just together? I'm a street photographer, originally from down the Grosvenor, yeah, uh, Marion Street. So I'm talking about the areas, I'll be doing it from about 86. So we're seeing you guys here, I want to grab a photograph, it's going to be on the YouTube channel, also on the Facebook page, Sean Allen. Yeah, uh, rambles with my camera. So I'd just love to take a photograph here, and I'll do these copies of the photograph. It's just like, you can see my style, about 20 year time, 30 year time, and the kids are no longer kids, and we're no longer young people. So if you just want the two to the group shot, I'll get a shot of you. Yeah? Could you get yourself together here? Is there no dogs in here, no? No. That's brilliant. No. Last thing, I'd open up a door and a big Alsatian or something to come out. So you should okay with being on YouTube, yeah? Here we go. That's brilliant. I'll wait for your mummies. And... That's brilliant. Do you want to come out to, out to the side so I can see us? Who else is hiding in there? Hey brother. How are you man? I think I know you man. How are you? Do you know what guys you are? I think we do. Probably used to be. Come around the front, love. Come on ahead, move out the front there so we can see. This is brilliant, guys. Here we go. That's wonderful. That's perfect. Listen, guys, thank you. I'll give you a wee card. Okay guys, I'm going to tell you something fantastic that happened. Do you see the lady standing at the front row there with the black t-shirt on, her hands are crossed? Now I posted that photograph up onto the uh, face, my Facebook page and her friend contacted her and left a comment on the photograph and turned around and said Did you not tell Sean that you were one of the girls in the swing photograph? Now basically what she was talking about was a photograph I had posted. I took this photograph in 2000, uh, sorry 2000, in 1994, round about then, of two friends sitting playing on the swings in Belfast and long story short, the kid on the swing is actually the lady there, none of us knew, I didn't know it was her and she didn't know it was me who took a photograph, so talk about a small world and I just wanted to share that with you, I think it's absolutely fantastic but what's the chances you're going to be photographing somebody, <laughs> what would it be, it must be 20 odd years later, about 20 what, 22 years later? Um, how magical is that? There you go guys, what a lovely family. And this is the thing. How many of you are out there and you're taking photographs and you're 
you know, drying up because you don't want to, you're, you're seeing a photograph in the making and you don't want to ask because you're scared of somebody saying something. Lovely people, and uh, hey buddy, lovely people, and it's all about knowing what you're doing, why you're taking photographs. How you darling? Um, and just actually saying to people, can I take your photograph? Because it's very, very important. 20 years time, 30 years time, 50 years time, even further on than that, we'll be looking back at the old photographs. Hopefully we'll be looking back at the photographs. Other people will be looking back at the photographs. Um, as a result of you just asking and saying, so I'm going to drop in some photographs there with the guys and uh, really appreciative. So there you go. Another wonderful photograph for the future generations to look at. Take you over here for a bit of a blast from my past. This is the Gravener Road, and uh, this is going until the Royal Victoria Hospital. Gravener Road Gate. I'm going to show you a photograph taken of me when I was seven years of age. So when would that have been? 1975. And I'm standing there with my old dad, and uh, a lot of. A lot of changes, let's put it that way. Uh, my old dad was my hero in life and he's my hero in death as well. So, a photograph of me standing all over lap it up, isn't it? Look at that big map of white hair, huh? So guys, here you go. I'm going to wrap it up there. Ending with the photograph of my old dad. My old dad. Because well, it's all about memories, about creating memories as well, because as I I know, fucking broken record here. I was got a tattoo on my neck. We're capturing the present so those in the future can look back at the past. And basically that's what it's all about. And it, uh, it's got miserable neck. Well, changed my terminology. It's got wet. And uh, I think I'm going to... I don't believe it. There's somebody playing cricket. I'm playing cricket. In the Dunville Park. That's fantastic. So guys, listen. I'm going to go over here and explore. See what the crack is here. Oh, I've never seen it like that. Sorry, it's getting sidetracked here. This is important. Me going to get knocked down here, though. So let's have a look at this here. Here we go. What that guy did it. Huh? here. There you go guys, you're getting to watch cricket here in uh, West Belfast. Go for it brother. Wow. So guys listen, I'm going to leave it there. I might get a couple of photographs, I don't know. So guys listen, send you love from Ireland. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. You can check me out on Twitter and Facebook and ramblesfromacamera.com and all that jazz. And uh, know that I'm sending you love from Ireland. And uh, watch this guy nailing this again. Look at that. Who is this guy? Come on, like, you don't, you're not able to hit a cricket ball like that unless you're somebody special. Who oh, he is. So, guys, listen. Huh. West Belfast, you've morphed into something that um, I never thought I would see, but it's good to see. And, uh, Brilliant actually. There you go guys. Daniel's love from Ireland.